We have scientists that have been working at CERN with the Large Hadron Collider saying that they may be on the verge here of discovering something huge. We're not talking about confirmation of an established theory, but about opening a door into an unknown and unexplored world is what they're saying. It, this goes right along the lines of everything that we've been stating about opening doorways to other dimensions, and they're hinting at this. They're not even saying specifically what this is, but they're... They give these hints, and they use the word hint. They say, we, we have hints emerging from the debris of these collisions within CERN. And going beyond Higgs, going beyond the gravitational waves, they're saying that 2016 could really be the year that changes everything, and that a new picture of nature's fundamental workings will be unveiled. Now, they're saying this hope springs from two bumps that have appeared independently in the same place in the latest data from the LHC's two big detectors, which is ATLAS and CMS. They point to the existence of a particle that dwarfs even the higgs boson particle, which is the giver of mass particle that they discovered at CERN in July of 2012. Now, they say that Higgs was a milestone, but ultimately one that marked the end of a road. And that it was the last particle to be found of those predicted by the standard model of particle physics. This clutch of sophisticated equations matches every ex experimental result to date with exquisite precision and explains the workings of the three fundamental forces of nature, which has electromagnetism and the weak and strong nuclear forces. Now, here is more information talking about the two most dangerous numbers in the universe, and these are scientists that work at CERN talking about the two key numbers in all the universe. And number one has to do with the strength of the Higgs field. They say that there's the number of absolute zero or on all the way, like a light switch. They say for some reason, the Higgs field is like barely turned on. It's an invisible energy field, not entirely unlike other magnetic fields that permeates the cosmos. But as particles swim through the Higgs field, they gain mass to eventually become protons, neutrons, and electrons that make up all the galaxy, including you and me. And the second part of this is the strength of dark energy. They state by their calculations that the problem with this is they call this the worst theoretical prediction in the history of physics. And they even admit the reason it it's so hard to understand is because it's, look at this number that they observed. It's so mind-boggling, people can't even wrap their head around it. It's a thousand trillion, trillion, trillion times bigger than the number of atoms in the universe. And what's especially interesting about this is that massive number's not right. So it shows that their model that they're using in across the board here is wrong, and they know it. And they're saying in this article they may be approaching a spot where they hit a brick wall here, and they're not going to be able to really go any further because the physics will not allow it to happen. They state that the energy... These two numbers, that if anyone was off, we would cease to exist. And that if, by their calculations, this massive number we just talked about, if that was true, then it would rip apart everything in the universe. Stars, planets, you and me, everything. There would be nothing. So there is this harmonic balance to where these two energies that exist out there that they're studying if either one of them was off the slightest bit, we wouldn't be here. But they don't fully understand this new one, and they're hinting that they're about to. And if they do, it's going to bust open a door to a whole new realm of understanding nature. So, this is heading right in the direction we've talked about before. 
when it comes to CERN and everything they're attempting to do here in the opening of doorways and windows in time. Everything is falling into place going right in that direction. Think about it. If it's ever going to happen, if they're ever going to do it, if it's ever going to be achievable, it's going to be in this realm of science. And they're right there. So interesting information here in regards to CERN. On the doorstep of something huge here is what they're hinting at. This unknown and unexplored world that they're talking about. And they're saying 2016 could go down as the year when a new picture of nature's fundamental workings are unveiled. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu 7.